farmers have depended on seasonal floods. The waters irrigated their crops and fertilized their lands. Today, excess water is channeled into reservoirs and power hydroelectric dams. But when water levels rise suddenly, far more than the ground can absorb, a flood occurs. Flash floods are a perfect example. Sudden storms unleash a torrential downpour. The runoff moves with surprising force. At a depth of two feet, the water can push aside a car. In fact, half of all deaths from flash floods involve vehicles. But floods occur in many other ways. Heavy rains and thawing snowfall can overwhelm rivers. Storm surges caused by hurricanes and tsunamis inundate the coastline. Landslides and mud flows can displace large volumes of water. Dams break, levees fail. In the Great Mississippi Flood of 1993, several of these factors came into play. Over 10,000 square miles of the Midwestern United States were overwhelmed with rain. In a cruel twist, the earthen dams known as levees along the upper Mississippi River forced the water to flow downstream faster and stronger. Communities further downriver were hit with the full brunt of the Mississippi. Two-thirds of all the levees were breached. Though towns rallied to protect their lives and livelihoods, the damage was still immense. Over $10 billion in damages, 56,000 homes flooded or destroyed, and some 50 people were killed. At the start of this century, another powerful flood wreaked havoc, this one coming from the sea. The storm surges of Hurricane Katrina submerged 80% of the city of New Orleans. Over 1,800 people died in the floods. The damage has been estimated at over $80 billion. In some ways, the New Orleans disaster was unique. Much of the city lies below sea level. And despite years of warning, the city was woefully unprepared to handle a breach of the levees which kept it dry. But we are still vulnerable. Sea levels may rise. Coastlines could erode. Rain patterns might change. Snowpacks could melt. And then the waters would rush in. All right, ladies. So that is one video on flooding. Now we know for sure that the, in the Caribbean, flooding is a serious, serious problem that we face here. And people might see this is a, as a very funny interview, but I think she would have touched on quite a lot of the different impact or the different effects of flooding, especially on in Jamaica, right? Please flood out everything no, in the- No, hold on, not, hold on. Tell me, you were in, what happened? You were to sleep? Yes, the, Rosie and her family were sleeping. Waking up, feel water and waking up. Right through the house, through the bathroom, through every door, kitchen door, every door. Everything in the house flood out. Let me talk about everything, everything. No bed, no dead, to sleep on. Settee, where you could have rest in a. Phone, where you could have make phone call and video for sure. Everything flood out. I want back every single piece so of So what pieces. happened? You were sleeping and... We were sleeping. Yeah, and? We were sleeping. Yeah. Hear Prince screaming. When spring scream into water, when you jump up and look, there is water. Many water, like Elsha. That type of water was there. I will warm back everything. Because I will live here on Sunlight Street from here two months old. Just one out of my mother. Left here from me at 29, me left Sunlight Street. So here we Me never have been seen my yard flood out yet. Or any house in the carpet here in Sunlight Street flood out yet. Never had been seen this yet. I dare you before my maiden take and we never see it yet. So anybody see them lie. Cause we never see it yet. I want back everything. 
Laptop, phone, everything. A five phone flood, I want back everybody. Name brand furniture, name brand bed, and name brand car. Everybody flood out, I want back everything. So, baby can't get men in giantess. A shit water and gully water. The baby from my baby, my nephew, your baby will come up. She flood out too with her baby, nice, pretty, clean skin baby them. Flood out, not a pimples, mosquito bite, nothing. Right now, you know what can happen to them? Them need to go to hospital. And we need all type of summer to clean out the germs. And the fly them starting at the house now to come look again. And it can't go on so. We don't have to do better. Man, what Anybody? Cause what cause it? What cause it? The workman them cause everything. With all them cut the bridge, and none of them not coming at the yard for come look or go on. If them do just fix back right there, sir, the house on a flood out. Is the bridge cause everything? Is this big contract what going on at Sunlight Street 21 and a half, Sunlight Street Kingston 13? Cause every single soul thinks what happened in a yard last night to this morning at 3.30. Flooding, the baby them could have been drowned in. We need justice, real justice we need. Justice we need. One back of furniture. And on a 30 grand bed in there and a 30 grand dresser. I know 30 grand fridge and a 30 grand rat nut. I know 30 grand. I know 10 grand. Night table. Touch lamp. Everybody. Flood cream in there. Mash up. Flood out the chit water and gully water. Nobody not come for look. Uncle the cameraman. It can't work. So we need justice. Justice. We need justice. We need justice over the yard there eh? and in the other yard. We need it. Can you see the condition right in uh? And the germs and the nasty. Right now, the left out of fly start at the place. To be every day, they don't look good. Call the contractor. We need the contractor. Fida, work ya. We start. We need him. We want back everybody. Everybody. We want this infectant. Cheers. Get on. Soap powder, all type of things for clean out the house. The baby them get men in giant test. They must seek on them. Who want justice? <laughs> all right, very painful interview by that person. Um, ex explaining some of the effects of flooding and what would have caused the flooding. Remember, there's a question that we would have looked at yesterday that flooding is, some of some flooding is natural and some is man-made. And clearly, uh, she would have stated that for years, they would have lived on Sunlight, Sunlight, Sunlight Street, Street in Kingston, and they have never, ever had any issue with flooding. But as soon as there was a development that was taking place, the major effect on their community or their home was flooding. It was the same thing that happened in Shooters Hill. Shooters Hill in, uh, in St. Thomas recently. And I know this is dealing with landslide. This is landslide, but I want you to look more at the flooding that was taking place in Shooters Hill. All right, good. The first incident happened over the other side of Shooters Hill where this man, he lost his life and also his daughter. We never know that something like that will have happened to us over on the other side of the hill of Shooters Hill. The woman at the house uh, after three, before the we hear some rumbling, rumbling no, no, around outside. No? So I <laughs> pull the window and I look outside. I see the stone so. wall. See if trouble here. I leave it, I give way. After hearing the stone wall, I give way. I come out in the next part of the house. I realized that inside of the house, the floor bottom itself break. By daylight, fear come up, I realized the whole place start open up, open up, and give way. So I wake up and I just come out and I get some people, shout out to some people, and get some assistance right away if we can get out some stuff from we can get out. We did want some man strength to take out some more things, but we leave what we can take out and 
eventually this is what the house look like now each days and days it keep on tearing off breaking down the bar gone right down lose all of my goods them everything just demolish away which I thank God for life the greatest in my weight now when I hear the rumbling and the jumbling so I didn't get to collapse in it and I thank God for that the most important thing well, it's a very hurtful feeling to know that you had lived somewhere and this disaster had happened. You understand? Because, you know, no one has ever prepared for a disaster. So, when a thing like this happens and you have to be somewhere else that you were living, it kind of have a hurtful feeling, but one of the greatest things is to know that you are alive. So you can start all over again. Right now up here, why can't I run to the house, let You don't plan on moving? <sighs> move, hold me up. That is the next move. Move is one, yes, but if you have something for both. You know I'm not going to move. Maybe that's about 1970. 1970, maybe that's another first, maybe I see something like this. Not easy. I would give thanks if I really receive food for the poor house, but as they say, I think the government should at least see a land, seek some land where we can probably go and reside from them up the house. So far, Miss Juliet Owen is my MP. She came here and she deal with all of us who get washed away good. She even sent us to the shelter. But I don't wish to go to the shelter. I'm staying at my mom's home for the time being. But there's other people that run there. She give us food, bathroom necessaries. She treating us good. And you know, so far as fair consequence alone get this terrible damage. So she dealing with it, she dealing with it officially, to my knowledge. Uh, that young lady that spoke at the end and she was at the beginning also she spoke about the economic damage by the flood within her community because she said that she had a shop and everything in the shop went uh so you have the economic problem going on with the flood there was a television jamaica interview that was also done and uh the it was mentioned that it was since the government uh redirect the river that would have caused the flooding within that area you also had death two persons would have died in a sit in a in this situation here in shooters hill a young lady who recently graduate graduated from queens i think she recently left queens very bright girl i was told and she would have also died in that. The other thing is that communities are also displaced as a result of the as a result of the of flooding. And so right now they are offering the persons in that community to move to elsewhere. And they're asking, we are, well, as the man said, that I live here from 1970, right? That is maybe the age of some of us parents, right? And we live almost all the years we are here. We have never had any flooding in our community. And right now, that is a serious problem to just get up and just live like that is not easy in fact i don't know if you see the newscast but there were some homes that were completely underwater some homes were underwater and when you look in some of the homes sand cover the car, sand cover right up to the roof of the home. A church is there, uh, sand cover right up to the very end, roof. 
And these are all the sand that came from the river. And so we know flooding is a serious problem that we have and, and we have been facing in the Caribbean. Countries that are very prone to flooding includes places like the Cayman Islands, the Bahamas, places in the Bahamas. Uh, we had some big flooding, well, Trinidad, yes, quite a lot of flooding in Trinidad also. Uh, as it rains, you know, Trinidad don't get quite a lot of rainfall, but when it rains there, it uh, a lot of flooding takes place in Trinidad. Uh, which other Caribbean country I could think of? Grenada had a flooding incident recently also. So we know that one of the geographical phenomena in the Caribbean is flooding. And flooding has quite a lot of impact on us. So we look at, for example, diseases that can come from flooding. So we have like mosquito-borne diseases can spread as a result of water uh, remaining after flooding, such as zik V, dengue. Anytime you have a major flooding, dengue always increase immediately after chicken gonia all of these mus mosquito borne diseases can seriously impact the society when you have flooding the next one is contamination of drinking water yes and that can also cause problems skin diseases as a result of the flooding death as you can see in Shooters Hill, where people would have died as a result of the flooding in that community. Uh, the bridges and roads destroy. The other day we have some flooding in Kingston and every single road in Jamaica was basically gone. The government would have estimated that it would take almost 15 billion dollars to repair the roads. So it's an economic problem and the government said we really don't have the money uh, in 2020 to repair these roads because we are in our COVID crisis. And right now, if you travel on Shortwood Road, you see a lot of potholes. Let me tell you some very big potholes. I think they fixed some in Mona, on Mona Road. Which other road I drive on? But I see some of the government fixing some on maybe Waterloo and those area. But overall, it is very expensive and then it can damage your personal vehicles with the potholes, business closed, school closed, all of these different stuff. Any other impact of flooding that you can think about? Sir? Go ahead for me. Another disease is um, ringworm because of the dirty water. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And you know, even if, because when your homes flood, it, ringworm, you have all different types of water coming mixing together and that can cause serious problems so ringworm is another problem very good point drought every year we experience drought in the caribbean right across the caribbean barbados grenada trinidad jamaica everywhere drought and this is uh for drought a drought occurs when there is not enough rain to support people or crops drought mostly occur in the summer when hot and dry weather is normal however sometimes drought can occur for months years or even decades right so we know for sure that drought is a serious problem that we face. And we 
sometimes you hear the, the news, they come on the news and they will say to you that, listen, the Mona Dam in Kingston is operating at 30%. We have to implement restriction when it comes to water. So some of us get water Monday and Tuesday. We don't get back water again until Friday. Some for two weeks. When I was living in half a tree, uh, the last year or the year before, we didn't have water for four weeks. Four weeks. A normal water bill would come to about $3,000. The most you might pay for water bill. And to buy a chuck of water, you're paying four or $5,000 for a chuck of water that is just to fill one tank. And so it is very expensive for us as the people when there is a drought. Uh, also, when you look at, and just imagine if you have a drought for a very long time, you one, there's a lot of stress that come with it. So you can't even look at the psychological effect. You have to wait until morning because for some communities, the water come from three to six in the morning. You have to get up, you have to lose sleep to get up to cover the, to fill your drums or ensure that things fill. In the apartment complex that I used to live in, this lady used to live on her pipe. So she refused to get up in the mornings to, to fill up her water. And she live on her pipe. So every time the water comes back in the morning, you sleep and you realize that the entire house is underwater. The water speed from upstairs come down. And so you have all of these problems that you're facing. And then also the lack of water can have serious problem for economy drought in terms of crops. And remember that we rely heavily on agriculture, even for animals. And drought can also cause the soil to erode. And so every time there's a drought, you're going, you go to the market, they are going to tell you that, listen, tomato is scarce, this is scarce, the price is X and X. Because you're going to have food prices going to increase due to the shortage of certain food items. And so we know for sure that drought have a very, very serious effect on us. Now, one other thing that you should know by now is that when you look at volcano, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, hurricanes, drought, flood, There are different ways we can minimize the impact. So when you're studying for your exam, you can use some of the very same ways, right? The, if it asks you to look at the effects of drought or natural disasters, almost all the natural disasters have the very same effect on the society. So before you're going to the exam, write social, economic. Three paragraphs you can discuss under social for any natural disaster. Three factors uh, when it comes to economic. So three economic, three social. 
write your essay before. So if you're going to the exam and they ask you anything about flood, hurricane, drought, uh, earthquake, volcano, volcanic eruption, you just tweak it to it. Sometimes they might ask you for all the natural disasters then it can include everything. All right, ladies, so let us be wise with how we go about preparing for the exam. When we meet again on Monday, we're going to look at coral reefs. Is it coral reefs? Soil erosion. Soil erosion and... No, on Monday, we, we are going to look at coral reefs. And then on Wednesday, we're going to look at on soil erosion. And then we are through with geographical phenomena. I'm still thinking if I should give you a, still give you an activity on this. All right, ladies, enjoy the rest of the day and enjoy the rest of the week. Thank you. Same to you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. All right, bye-bye. Sir? Go ahead for me. Uh, can you repeat the three factors that you were talking about for the exam if they ask a question on natural disasters? Natural disasters, the econ so always ensure that you, there are two main factors, right, for every single natural disaster. Social factors and economic factors. Social and economic. Under each of under each of the for social and economic economy, one businesses can be affected, and then you look at the trickling effect of that. Loss of jobs can happen. The country it will cost the country a lot to do repairs right because of the damage to the infrastructure uh so these are some of the effects so i'll ensure that you have one two three economic effects the next one is social one of the major social is that death so whether it is an earthquake a hurricane a flood you always have death within those natural disasters so death social Socially look at health in terms of diseases. Whether you have problems when it comes to uh, the different types of diseases as a result of the natural disaster. After that now, so we we'll look at people being displaced, meaning that people live in certain communities for a very long time, and they have to move to different areas because after the flood or after the hurricane or after the volcano, they can't return to their original dwelling. So you have to look at the displacement of communities as a social effect. And if you cover up maybe three and three, you can write six paragraphs on the effects and it should be good. And, and I'm not sure if you were at the class yesterday, but for every, for all of the different natural disasters that we look at, whether the volcanic eruption, uh, whether it is earthquakes, hurricanes, flood, drought, they tend to have the very same effects on the Caribbean. All right? Yes, sir. Thank you. No problem.